Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Eastex Twitch, and we are checking out Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, complete edition, for Xbox, playing it on Xbox Series X. I've got Perfect Zero on mic with me. Hola. And also Brandy Cats. Hello. Brandy Dog couldn't uh, make it. <laughs> I like the pixelated Universal logo, although is it supposed to be moving or anything? It's just... No, it just sits there for a bit. Yeah, that's weird. It should be animated. Anyway. Especially since the sound is there. I thought something was wrong. Yeah. Like, my screen froze? Because our upstairs TV, the Vizio, it's all buggy, and the screen does freeze, and you'll still hear the sound. Winners Don't Eat Meat. That's clever. From William S. Broccoli, director of the VBI. start with, Scott sees Ramona Flowers. Oh, they seem to have fallen in love. That's not quite how it happened in the story, but... Scott Pilgrim is in love with Ramona Flowers. But... Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. That's her seven evil exes. He must defeat her seven evil ex-boyfriends. What about the ex-girlfriend? She's there, too. Yeah, but I wonder why they said ex-boyfriends. Because in the comic and everything, they just say yeah. exes. Wait! There we go. So in case you didn't know the history of this game, it was originally released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It was released only digitally, and it got delisted, so it's been gone for a long time. Friendly hits off. Nice. Left stick dash, quick tap, interesting. Character data, what does that do? Oh. It has data about your character. Oh, what level they are, because you can level them all up independently. And these are the ones we have unlocked to begin with. It looks like Knives Chow isn't automatically unlocked for some reason. Even though the Knives DLC is included. So here's our controls, jump, block. I see, it looks like you can't have it in two different places. But I'm going to put on Ride Trigger because that's just a much better spot than B. So, I can live with that. It's dumb that you can't have it on multiple buttons, though. Hey, Darker Player, good to see you. Alright, we're going to play Story Mode and Local Multiplayer. Tom wants to be cheap and only have the Steam or Ubisoft version, so... He'll just watch. And we'll play on Average Joe difficulty to start with. I'm playing too, I'm just playing on the other platform. <laughs> yeah. All right, pick. So I guess I should be Wallace. No, look, you can pick other characters. So why doesn't their character data appear on the character data list? Because you haven't played them yet, I assume. Weird. I kind of want to be Knives because she's awesome. Yeah, that's a nice feature, isn't it? I forget the name of the pixel art guy. Isn't it like something Robinson or something? But the guy who, the lead pixel art guy for this game, he's the best pixel art guy there is. He's located out of Europe, like Finland or someplace. It's probably not Finland. But anyway, he used to make these pixel art cartoons, you know, like 5 to 15 minute short cartoons all by himself. And they're spectacular. This is like Mario. Yeah, for here it does. It's very aware of video games stuff, just like the movie and the comics. So, you can spawn object by holding Y for two seconds. Yep, Darker Player's right. This is really going to show off the Xbox Series X's power. Hey, hey Thyrenia, we're glad to see you. We've really missed playing with you, Thyrenia. You should offer to play with us every now and then. So, X and Y are your attack buttons. Hold, uh, possibly right trigger to block, I'm not sure. Wolfblade's here too, excellent. Great to see you, Rai Rai. No friendly fire, because we have that turned off, thankfully. Yeah, Ramona Flowers, who Brandy is playing, is by. That is correct. And they drop money. you got to pick up all the money they drop. It's important. How do I throw this guy? Oh, Y button. Like oh. The pixel art is quite... I'm sorry, the chiptunes music from Am Amanaguchi. Pretty pleasant. Like, it's, they're not my favorite chiptune band at all, but mm. they still do make good music. I just, like, slam my person to him. 
So Tom, uh, which which classic NES game is this game closely inspired by? Honestly, I have no idea, but it looks a lot like River City Ransom. That's the one, River City Ransom. I knew you'd get it. But yeah, I'm going to get a chance to buy uh, weird soft drinks. Some kind of soft drinks. You could definitely buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, have to be uh, ow. Like weird soft drinks and like sticks of meat, just like in River City. They keep throwing baseballs at us. Yeah, it's full of River City Ransom references and just things that are inspired by it. You could even describe it as a parody according to the definition of parody. But how do you pick up stuff again? Uh, X. I just uh, got into it. it. Did you throw that into me or did he? Because if he... He did, because oh, okay. there's no... Well, there may be with projectiles, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's take care of that guy. This... It's a game that starts out, don't walk in the hole. She was Oops. like, yay, the hole. <laughs> but anyway. Thank you. This is a game that starts out really hard, actually. And you're intended to grind and get stronger. And then it's not as hard. Hey, Tech Guy's here. Glad to see you, Tech Guy. Oh, uh, Thyrenia says she's missed this game as well. I'm glad you're on the same page as us, Thyrenia. It is really good to see it back with all the DLC included for only 15 bucks. That's a fair price indeed. Uh, we can't have my body on camera anymore. It does, I do wish my head was a little higher up on screen. I wonder what I could do about that. Basically, if, well, if I could just push it back a little, would that fix anything? See, then that makes the green screen corner pop out. That's the problem. Maybe we'll fix that. Oh, now I can't get it right. Why'd you do this to me, tech guy? Because we changed the position of the green, uh, of the camera a while back in order to get better picture quality out of the green screen. And the quality is better, but we have perhaps less freedom or just not as much freedom as we'd like in where we can position it. Darker Player says, River City Ransom and Double Dragon are from the same Japanese developer. That would be Technos. And they were eventually, those properties now belong to Arc System Works, maker of great games. And we've even streamed a River City Ransom game on, well, we've streamed a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Ow, just hit myself. Yep, including that uh, spin off sequel, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, that weird Kobayashi game. Oh, crap. Stay cool, Kobayashi. Ah! I get run over trying to help her. <laughs> Alright, how do I pick you up? Right, right trigger. trigger. But I gotta mash it, because it's the block button. Alright, so mashing right trigger is not ideal. Maybe that's why you don't normally put block there. Oh, big guy. Hey, Jonah, we're glad you're here. Why are they paddling on top of me? Is half my fist? Oh, because, sorry, I've got to really watch where I sit. If I move too far to the left, just let me know, audience. How about that, Wolfie? And tech guy? Yeah, pound him. Don't forget, you can spawn objects by pressing and holding Y for two seconds. It's a special move you've got. Do we need money independently? Uh, yeah, because right. you can buy up character upgrades with it. Alright, it's just, I've got... At some point. Okay. It's very snowy here, because this game takes place in Canada. Canada? It's a good place. Yes. You gonna blame Canadia? Sometimes, sometimes you have to. No, my in-laws are there. And by the way, I only ever say it that way. I've successfully eliminated the original pronunciation of that name. It's fun. I want to be able to just hit them while they're down without picking them up. You can. How? Have something in your hand. Oh, I see. This poor guy, I'm just okay. smashing him into everything. Hillcrest Park. <laughs> well, Tech Guy, hopefully we can solve that problem eventually. It, it really is down to the green screen. We do not want the anything oh, in the background to come out. Coming. Yeah, I'm surrounded by bad guys, so that's not too wonderful. God! Ah! Uh. Yeah, no? It's okay. Just don't get beat up so much. 
Perfect solution. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you're surrounded, use the uh, right uh, stick. Oh yeah, left. Right, like the, um, right left bumper. Uh, not the bumper, the thing below it. I can't even think of the word. <laughs> uh, you the stick thing. Oh, you got a new move. Double tap thing left or right bumper. plus X or Y. There is nothing. You mean the analog stick? Yes, that's the one. You're not making any sense. Right below the bumper is ah! another button. That in racing games you usually use for gas. That one. Uh, that's actually behind it. I wouldn't say below it. Oop. Uh, your definition of up and down may be a little confused, Paul. I don't think it is. Ah. So try to use your double tap move sometimes. Is uh, that spinning kick will actually do a lot of damage. Nice. Nice. Tech guy loves the movie, he says. Yeah, the... Can we break these? Ooh. You can hit them, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get up on the, on the mailboxes. I want that basketball. Can we go up here? Ah! Oh! Hey, let go of me. Nice job, Brandy. That may use your life up to do, I'm not sure. Just pay attention to your life, which is the number by the heart. Thank you, Moobot. Ah, moving over again. It's really hard to sit just directly in front of the camera. What I could do is move the camera more over the only thing... Does that help? Hey, don't die. Is that any better, guys? I think it got me on the rebound. Wow. It's just crap. I've probably seen it about four times myself, tech guy. I'd like to watch it again sometime just to give Brandy's daughter some context for enjoying the game more. However, Brandy and I are trying to watch all the Marvel movies finally, which we were supposed to do over Christmas break. I think so, it does use my health. Yeah, so only use it for dangerous situations. Yeah. We watched Iron Man 1 today. We may talk about that on the main stream, but we watched all but the last act, and we're going to watch that after the stream before we play games with Tom. He didn't watch WandaVision? No, because that's the thing. I want to get... Brandy and Mackenzie have seen some stuff, but they haven't seen everything, so... I've seen most things. I just think it would be better if we got them caught up first. And I haven't seen that stuff in a long time myself, you know? It's probably been about a year since I've seen a Marvel movie, so uh, so getting caught up is a good idea. I think Endgame sort of hurt my enthusiasm because it like really felt like the end. But also, they haven't released anything since, which has been bad for enthusiasm as well. How about that, this dude? Y button. This is pretty fun. Jono and Brownmeister are saying some weird red thing. I don't know what it means, but I like it's it. It's a pretty emote. Reminiscent oh, it's your raid emote. Yeah. Nice. We're glad you're here, Brownmeister. Brownmeister, I probably need to resubscribe to you, don't I? I feel like it's been a while since I've gone over there and done that. About Black Panther 2? I haven't yeah. even seen the first one. That is one I haven't seen. I think I'm hearing a lot more talk. Dang. I'm hearing a lot more talk about Spider-Man 3 right now. Because, you know, rumor is that Charlie Cox is going to appear in Spider-Man 3, possibly as Daredevil, which would be so exciting, and I really hope it happens. Oh, dude, this guy's going to hurt. Yeah. Gosh darn it. I know. It's okay. I'll come back. Well, you do have a finite number of lives, I think. I do. There we go. Yep, at the top of the screen. Mm. And uh, by the way, don't go too far backwards on the screen. The game uh, starts speeding up on you. If you... Really? Oh, yes. Ah. I just lost two lives because of it. I don't mean to do you wrong, Brown Meister. I've just been so very busy with school starting up again. Oh, let's go in the secret rainbow thing. Is there an achievement for going in here? That'd be nice. Piggy bank. You get a lot of coins. Hello. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 
We're in the subspace highway. It's like in between the video game world or something, so it's all pixely. Ah. Yeah, break those. They give you money. Ah, mm -hmm. we both missed oh, that line pretty badly. Got it. So they can't hurt you? Not if you hit them and break them and get their money. That's what I'm trying. Yay, subspace highway. Good job. Ah, it's all staticky sounding. Nice. Brownmeister saying hi to everybody. Good man. Is BX mm -hmm. heat here yet? Ooh, a suitcase full of money. I want that. Ow. Oh, I'm down now. Save me. Right trigger. Yeah, over and over. Shh. Jam it, jam it. Quickly. Oh. Faster. Good. Now jam it. Ah, so close. It was a good try. That was the end of me. Bad guys. Kill my man. You're so mean. You're so mean. Yeah, and they're just evil hipsters. Like all hipsters, for being honest. I'm sure there's one good one. <laughs> well, the thing about hipsters is, by definition, they think they're cool, right? And people outside of that group do not think they're cool. So, that's a problem. Like, people who are into Japanese stuff, otakus or weebs as they're called, like, they don't automatically think they're cool, so... You're just not as inclined to look down on them, I would say. And hey, we got to some shops where we can buy upgrades. Yeah, I heard that too, Tech Guy. That would be really exciting if Chris Evans comes back as Captain America, even though they basically wrote him out before. So, But there's so many different ways they could bring him back with different universes and stuff. Come into this store up there where I am. Okay. I'm just gonna get Let's you see what that's right like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that girl's very bouncy. Anyway... Scott's late fees are five hundred dollars. We can't afford to pay those. Let's just get out of here. Can we break this? Well, that'd be fun. No, you just pick it up and take it with you as a weapon. X button, you know. It's got money. Yeah, but you can't. As far as I know. And don't forget, you can mix X and Y in combos, and that makes it more effective. Mm -hmm. I have a tendency to kind of just stick to one button, but you can't do that. Money! Break a bottle on you, buddy. See, the music is just really mellow. Like, it's catchy music, but I don't know if it fits the vibe of the game super well. The tone, that is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Sorry. <laughs> you were down. Nikki's here and Javors is here. Hey, Javors. Javors, you're your own person and not that guy who makes a bunch of dupe accounts, right? Hopefully. Hey, so I got a beverage. How the heck do I drink the beverage? I think you do it from the start menu. I could be wrong. Yeah, speaking of beverages, here we are. All right. Um. I'll buy hot chocolate. Yeah. To go? No, I'll drink it right now. Alright. Look at that, I got stats up. Okay. Now, how do I do it? I'm trying to back out of the menu. Okay. okay. Alright, now you should be able to. Uh, maybe not. There. There she goes. Espresso. You'll notice Javor's yeah, didn't the, uh, get some fajitas after that. There you go. Nice. Javors, you didn't answer me. It's a simple yes or no question. Come on. Okay. Don't leave me anxious. Don't leave me hanging. I'm hyper. Nice. Oh, text ah, sorry. Next. That's where the fajitas are. I don't think that guy's a bad guy. Can we? Dang, you're right. I wanted to hit him Let's anyway. Hit him. <laughs> yeah, but it but doesn't it... actually hurt him. All right, this is where we get some real careful not spin. Well, it doesn't matter. Buy what you want. But oh wow, fajitas are expensive. Yep. I don't have that much. Why do you want fajitas? Just because they're good. Uh. My yeah. health is full, so I don't you really have want. You have thirty-six ninety-five. I have twelve ninety-nine. Yeah. Let's just leave. So here. Our health is pretty high, so we don't need. Like it increases your stats, but also refills your health. 
So you could just get it to go to you later, but we could just save it. What was like? You have a lot more of that I do, so. Ooh, sushi. I actually had sushi for dinner last night. Nice. That, that sounds really good. Some, but... We had pizza last night. Ah! That's what I had this night. Ooh. For today, we, uh, Brandy made chicken, like, what do you call it? Pulled chicken or something? Yeah, it's it's basically just Pulled chicken pork? made in the... But it was chicken, though. Yeah. Hey, get off her. It's made in the instant Jam on the buttons, darling. Nice. Yeah, I don't like how it's so easy to knock objects into each other, but... Ah! Right? No, you're right. I got hit by nothing off to the side. Like what Tom said. Sorry. It's the objects. Yep. You pull the chicken. You can pull anything if you try hard enough. It just kind of shreds. Right, we have to tell you, don't do that. I have I'll nipples. Anyway. Can you milk me? Can you, Greg? Pull a Robert De Niro. Ooh. Look, if I hold back and hit Y or X at the same time, I can do an elbow move. It's hard to do, though. Yeah, yeah, The production values for this game are really good for... You'd, you really wouldn't expect it to look as nice as it does, but I guess it had a decent budget originally. And it seems to have been a bit of a... Some guy can do this. I, I could probably do this. Uh, over a matter of eight years, maybe. Like, it's a lot of work to draw that many different frames. Okay, let's see. Here's where we buy music, and I'm going to try Clash of Demon Head. Gut points, XP, and WP. That's weapon. Ah. Glad to hear it, Brownmeister. Nice. Icky says he can get it for cheap on the Epic Store. Icky, if you bought it on Xbox, then we could play together. And it's always good to have more games that we can play together. I'm just pointing that out. Slightly more expensive, but the multiplayer potential. Don't forget about it. You, ooh, Lost at Sea. That's a book by written by Brian O'Malley. I have it. Anyway. Well, an alternative. You can get the uh, a UB Plus version, and then we can play together that way. Boo! Don't play with him. Put it on PC. <laughs> Darn you. In this case... It wouldn't be better because there's no 3D effects to be How to study here. hard. My kids need that. I'm going to yeah. get lost to see. Did you just say no 3D effects on PC? On this game. It gave no, me a ton of XP. Anyway. It's a 2D game. That was my point. So, like, on a PC, you can push the frame rates and crazy things like that. But there's nothing to enhance beyond what it already does here. Yeah, I don't really get your point though because you said everything was better on pc yes it is better more frame rate equals better more this already equals better. yeah but this is already the only frame rate you could want it's not like it has slowdown or something no but more frame rates equals smoother response less uh vertical tearing and so forth i don't think it has we're experiencing any screen tearing or anything like that Oh, isn't that Knives no, Chow's mom? You, I think it is. You don't have to experience it even less. Look out, look out. Oh. Oh, darling. It's okay. Eating up on the old grandma. No, the bus got me. It is really obnoxious how they just come up and pound you when you're trying yeah. to pick somebody up. Shouldn't do that. There we go. It worked, though, huh? Oh, I don't have enough money for uh, 101 push-ups. That's too bad. I got lost at sea because I like that actual book. And it was cheap. That's a good thing. The love? Yeah, Aki, we talked about that originally. It was released for the Xbox 360, and it's been delisted for like eight or nine years, I think. Really long time. It's good to play it again. Okay, let's go in here. Going in the tunnel. This level is really long, isn't it? I don't think we have time to do two different levels because of how long it is. There's something Look at that, there. there's a secret shop. We'll go in it in a minute.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's right. Threw a bottle at her butt, just like in real life. No, you usually just stick them there. <laughs> or a cold can, perhaps. Yes. Icky, I don't know. You might be able to, but it's not the same game. We're not playing... This is basically a re-release. Oh, wow. Yeah, all this stuff's expensive, but it's it provides big boosts. Like, that's what we really want to do long-term, is save up money to buy things at this shop. Then we can get much stronger, and the rest of the game will be easier. Gotcha. All right. So well, that's where it's located, in case anyone was wondering. I have to have lots more money. You want to get a bat? Meh. Weapons are good. Dang it! <laughs> I was moving out of the way to throw it, and then you moved in the way just to make sure. Move, move! Oh, Brandy. When it says that, get out of the way. Just yeah. You know I don't have fast reactions. Oh. Wolfie got ratted out. Go, Wolfie! So, Wolfie, are you saying that you'd be able to play with us if we were playing multiplayer? Because that would be really fun if you bought it on Xbox. He's saying you'll play with you if you get it on uh, UB+. Plus. <laughs> I was tempted to cancel the stream we were going to do tonight and just do Scott Pilgrim because everybody likes it, clearly. But our schedule is so full, I, you know, I'm loathe to delay games that we have scheduled right now. Unless it was for the biggest game ever. Well, if there's I'll a lot of people that play, ever. we can all just all play yeah, on Yeah, well, this. every now and then I do, but usually you not. Yeah, much never. Uh, no. We streamed Super Mario 3D All-Stars, for instance. That was definitely not the biggest game ever. It was a big game. And yeah. I feel like we, we did some other kind of new release last in before December. I can't remember what it was, though. Yeah, there's only been one big game on Switch, and that is Zelda. Well, that's a matter of debate. Or economics. Or ratings. No, all of Nintendo's or, uh, games sell quite strongly. You disrespect the Switch. You shouldn't do that. We're big Switch fans around here. Beat the crap out of that guy. Oh, yeah, I don't need to turn on my Switch. Still sitting That's in the shame. case I bought for it. Well, speaking of the Switch, you know, I showed off my collection on stream last week, and I made that a highlight video on YouTube, so everybody can watch just as we look through my collection. And it's a ton of great games and a few games that are probably questionable. So, again, I would offer that as evidence that the Switch is pretty cool. But I would appreciate it if everybody would watch that video and, and like it and such. Because we always need that to be done with our videos. Please, guys. It's cheap and easy. Ooh, snowy. Oh, Let's go in the door. Easy. There you go. Yeah, it's four-player icky. And sure, maybe there would be latency to play together, but we don't mind, you know? We'll play with you no matter how latent it is. This is beautiful. Yeah, but uh, don't let the money disappear. Can we break those blocks? There we go. That helped. Ooh, a coin box. Mario style. Mm -hmm. It's on top of it. There we go. A little hard to tell that. Don't break that one. Gotta break this first. Get all the money. Yeah. Love that money. Did Wolfie and Thyrenia tell us which platform they bought it for? Gonna hope it was Xbox. Nope, they bought it on uh, Ubisoft. Darn it, you guys. Quit supporting Ubisoft. Wait a minute. Ubisoft's who made this. Uh, but still. <laughs> have, I was gonna say. Yeah, hard to do that without... Good man, Rai Rai. Where is that coin? If the coins couldn't land on top of objects, you wouldn't have that confusion. You can also just jump on top of the objects. Yeah, you have to sometimes. That was cool. It broke and then it went to you. Woo! <laughs> Get we beat the level! Yes! Uh-oh. At the rocket. Crashing the boys, the band... Uh, that's named after a classic NES game that is part of the River City Ransom series. Hey, it's Dev Patel. Matthew Patel, my bad. Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> For real. He's got to lay off. I want him. <laughs> you tell him. 
He buys me sushi. <laughs> I guess about the only time I had a problem with somebody's ex trying to take them away was I was dating a girl named Kelly and my sister caught her walking around and holding hands with one of her exes. And, of course, she had been cheating on me. That wasn't good. Ah, level up! Tap right trigger when attacked. Tap the block button when attacked, in other words. We gotta beat these succubi. This is why I left you. <laughs> you tell her. Yeah, it's only $15 for this. I think they could have charged 20 you know, so 15 was nice of them. The original game was 10 but it had the two DLCs that were 5 each. So... It ends up being a better deal to get it all at once for 15. He's almost gone. He's flashing like a turtle's enemy. Oh, oh no, he's brought them back. I would try to stand to the edge where their fireballs can't hit you. But then again, you're hitting him, and that's good. Yeah, but it didn't work for me. Oh, how am I going to get over there? You're Let's not. Find out. Just don't worry about it. You gotta try. I'll get over there. Ah, uh, it didn't work. See? Yeah, it, I'll be back. the game should not punish you for trying to revive people, and it totally does. I did not remember that about it. it doesn't punish you, it just punishes you for not being good at it. No, it's... I mean, they run up and just... They go for you when you're trying to revive, and reviving takes, like, three seconds. Yes! Yeah, but a lot of games do that. Achievement! Well... I would say it's not usually so hard. Like, usually they don't just make a beeline for you and smack you. It's like, if any enemies are alive, you can't save the person. I so wish then would... the reviving mechanic is a bit wasted. Yeah? The only thing I'd like is I wish they would split the money in between both all players. Yeah, that would be nice, because too. Because it's Reading like... Bystander. I am awesome. How about that? And now we warp out of there for some reason. Oh, look how happy we are. Kissy, kissy. Our friends, the other band members, don't look so happy. They feel left out. Aww. That was beautiful. So I think there's a secret exit that lets you be able to go to those other two locations. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong. Then there's a lot of replay value to this. You know, you've got a ton of levels. You've got hidden exits like that. You can build up your characters. In the old game, the achievements encourage you to beat it, on, beat it on the highest difficulty, I think. So it's probably like that in this one, too. You can look at the moves list and see some of the moves you've unlocked. I unlocked a counter. I've got that the input for the back attack. is not good. I don't like that. But and Brandy never did her spawn object, as far as I know. But presumably it would have been cool. Oh, what's tech guy got to say? Probably don't even want to know, do I? Hello. GG's? Does that mean okay. good games? All right. That might mean he has it, too. So, everybody, we've been playing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World for Xbox... For Xbox. You don't even say Xbox One anymore, because the Series X doesn't have the word One in the name, does it? Um, it did save, right? It said it auto-save, so okay, I would assume it did. Better have. That's interesting that it says that at the top. It's like advertising Scott Pilgrim to you when you've already bought Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Anyway, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. 15 bucks. It's on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and also Ubisoft and Epic, maybe Steam, I don't know. Anyway, this is a great game. I highly recommend it. Thanks for helping out, Tom. Always a pleasure. Thanks for playing with me, Brandy Bell. Always. We love you guys, and remember, don't hate, appreciate.